What is going on, guys? It's your boy Vatican, and today I'm doing something a little different. Uh, a few days ago, I posted a Aberration Comes to Ragnarok video, and that was pretty popular with it. Came a lot of questions. Um, I've been getting a lot of people ask how I get my server to have Aberration creatures, Aberration equipment, uh, Aberration drops. And one of the number one requested things is how do I change the supply crates? Well, today I'm going to show you just how to do that. First thing you're going to need is this application on your PC called Beacon. If I can find it. Right there. You open up Beacon, and this is the first screen you're going to see. You choose your map. I'm playing on Ragnarok. Here you put in your difficulty offset and your difficulty value. My offset remains at 1. I play on a difficulty value of 20. Gives me a max dino level wild of 600. Create. And then this page here will pop up here. You can add loot sources. When we go into our loot sources and look, we have our island beacons. These are the beacons that are going to drop on about half of the island since the Ragnarok Desert expansion. The desert has scorched earth drops, so they're in here as well. You have your swamp cave drops. Your ice cave drops, your underwater, your deep sea drops, your artifacts. You can also edit the boss fight loot table here. And then, of course, your scorch drops and your desert drops. So, when you select a loot source, it'll prompt you to choose from a bunch of presets. Personally, it's easier if you create your own. So click done. I have my presets already set up. So here is where you create a preset. Name it anything you want to. Untitled, under miscellaneous. And just for this demonstration, we're going to put in say a chatney at paste. If I want it to give between 10 and 100, doesn't have a quality, so you can leave that primitive. Um, change your blueprint for material to zero. If it was a structure or a piece of gear, you could adjust that to whatever you want. Just keep in mind that your chance to be a blueprint is going to take away from the chance of the item being in the crate. So if you have four items in the crate and chance to be blueprint at uh, 25%, which is default, you would have three items and a blueprint. Set this down to zero. Okay. From here, you just close it out. It's going to ask you to save. Uh, normally, you would save it. And then save it to your library. This will put it in your pull down menu. I'm not going to do that because I have them set up already. And actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open my setup for the Ragnarok Desert. Uh, this is the most recent one I've done. I've actually set it up just today. And as you can see, I have my own item sets in each one of them. After you've saved your beacon file, you're going to go to deploy. If you're using an older version, it'll be called export. Um, the new update allows beacon to update your game I and I directly. I haven't played around with it that much, so I can't tell you if it works. Personally, I would rather save it uh, to my computer as a game to I and I file. That way I can edit it personally, I can add it wherever I want, and I can add to it manually. After you export it, it's gonna ask you to save it as an I and I file, just like it would any other document.
And here is my Ragnarok Desert Beacon INI. And if I open it up, this is what it looks like. Now to get this on your server, my server host is Nitrato. So I go to Nitrato's main page. You need to make sure uh, expert mode is active. The way you do that is go to general. Tick the box that says expert mode and save the changes. Now normally anytime you edit expert mode, you're going to want to make sure your server is stopped. Otherwise, it won't let you save anything you put into this box. Uh, when you get to expert mode, it, by default, it'll be on user settings. Click on user settings, game to INI, load file. As soon as it pulls up, you notice right here you have in the brackets the script shooter game. Which means you do not need it twice. You can delete that out. Then you highlight all of it. Every bit of it. Um, it starts at the configure override command. And it ends with these uh, five close parentheses. So you copy that. You go one line under, paste. Now my server has started, so I don't get the option to save. But if your server stopped, there will be a button down here that says save changes. You click on it. It will bring you back to this page and give you a message at the top that you've successfully saved. Then you just restart your server, and you're good to go. This has been a very requested video, guys. Um, and depending on the turnout, I will also do videos on how to set items to auto unlock, how to change the crafting requirements for items, how to remove dinos, add dinos, completely reconfigure your uh, spawners, where the spawners are, and set your uh, character max level higher, how to set your dino max level higher, all of those, if this helped you in any way, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.